But we are beginning tonight with the latest developments in a plot against Graceland in the family of Elvis Presley. Today, a Missouri woman was arrested, accused of orchestrating the entire scheme. All this as fans from around the world gather in Memphis to celebrate Elvis Week. WRG Shea Simon is at Graceland tonight. And Shay, I know you've been talking with fans all day long. What are you hearing? Yeah, Greg, fans I talked to, they say that they are stunned that this case has taken such a drastic turn all in the middle of Elvis week. This suspect is now facing federal charges and could be in prison for up to 20 years. It's, it's kind of like a second home. Alexis Chambers is one of thousands of fans celebrating the king of rock and roll during Elvis week, a celebration of Elvis Presley's legacy at Graceland. How many times have you been to Elvis week? More than 25. This Elvis week comes with shocking news after a Friday morning arrest. 53 year old Lisa Janine Findlay is now facing federal charges accused of scheming to defraud Elvis Presley's family out of millions while trying to defraud Graceland. I think it's a shame people would do that, you know? I mean, what was the purpose in it? She thinks that she's going to get a lot of money? That's crazy. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I'm glad she ended up getting consequences for it. The Department of Justice says Finsley pretended to be three different people affiliated with a fake private lender, falsely claiming Lisa Marie Presley borrowed millions from a company and used Graceland as collateral for the loan. The name of that company was Nalsini Investments in Private Lending. Take a look at these emails. In May, WREG emailed that company. In a response, Kurt Nalsini denied affiliation and told WREG not to contact him. The DOJ says Findlay uses the name Kurt Nalsini as one of her many aliases. How do you feel about that happening during Elvis? <laughs> Poetic justice. <laughs> She says poetic justice will in a statement U.S. Attorney uh, Kevin Ritz calls Graceland a national treasure and says that the DOJ will vigorously prosecute anyone who commits financial crimes or identity theft. For your news leader at Graceland, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3.